breathing is probably the most important thing that you could do for your health. We do it all day. It's part of life. So when we do it consciously, we literally get access to the volume control of stress in our brains. I'll say that a different way. When we breathe consciously, intentionally, and in a certain way, we get to turn down the stress response in our nervous system. We get to regulate the part of our nervous system that controls all the automatic processes in our body, whether it's our heart rate, our liver detoxification, how our heart beats, how our immune system works, all that's regulated by the autonomic nervous system. There's lots of tools and lots of things you can do to up-level that system. The most important I would suggest is your breathing. Of course, how you eat, how you sleep, how you feel, how you move. If you meditate, all those things are super important, but breathing is fundamental, foundational. John Wooden, the famed coach of the UCLA basketball team, amazing guy. If you read in his book, Wooden, when his players, no matter how good they were, started playing for him on his team, he didn't have them shooting free throws. He didn't have them doing fancy drills. He taught them to put on their socks properly. What? Why? Because if your sock's not on properly and you get one of those little nubs and it throws off how you walk or how you run or how much you can pay attention and focus, it changes everything. So he focused on the fundamentals and the basics first, the super fundamentals and basics first. So that's breathing. Breathing is that. Remember, volume control on the stress response. If you wanna bring yourself into more balance, harmony, alignment, um, a more pristine level of thinking and speaking and experiencing life, conscious breath is so important. Let me give you a simple practice. First, we always breathe in this practice in through the nose and out through the nose. We also always breathe, you can't see my hands, but always breathe into the belly not up into the chest and neck. What that looks like is this. That's not what we're doing here. There's a place for different types of breathing that might look like that. This is not that. The sequence goes like this. It's super simple. You breathe in for four. Watch me. Hold for four. Breathe out for six. Do that again, breathe in for four. Hold. Breathe out for six. Breathe in for four. Hold. Breathe out. Easy. The best thing to do, put your timer on your phone, set it for five minutes. Best time of day to do this <clears throat> is either first thing when you wake up, last thing before you go to bed, or if you wanna maximize recover and increase muscle growth and anabolic hormone production and growth hormone, do it after a good workout. If you're an athlete or if I'm working with you and you're an athlete, do this after you train. If you have a stressful day <clears throat> and you just need to like hit the reset button, do this practice. So ideally, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. If you had to pick one, five minutes in the evening. Why? Because it will improve your body's sleep latency, meaning how quickly you get to sleep and how deeply you go. Sleep is so important. Have a beautiful day. If you have any questions, please post them below. And uh, hope to talk to you soon. Cheers.